we are going to draw a very crabby picnic. This crab is going to be scuttling away all his possessions before the tide comes in and ruins his beach picnic. Okay, for this drawing, I'm actually going to turn my sketchbook vertically. That's portrait style in front of me. And you can use a pencil or a pen or a Sharpie, whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna come up about one quarter from the bottom of my page and draw a horizon line all the way across. And my crab is gonna be right here in the middle. And my crab has kind of an oval shaped body. So I'm gonna draw an oval kind of above my horizon line here. And I'm gonna give my crab six pointy legs that are bent kind of in an L shape. One, two, three, and three on this side. Okay, there are the six legs. Now I'm gonna draw two kind of arms with claws coming up on either side. So I'm gonna draw just kind of a curved shape here and a pinching claw on one side, another curved shape on this side, and kind of a C shape with a V in the middle for the other claw. He's gonna have two eyes coming up here, so a pair of lines here with a circle on top, and a pair of lines here with another circle on top. And he's gonna be looking up at all of his belongings that he is trying to move. And I'm gonna give him two eyebrows. Sometimes when you just add eyebrows to a character, that gives it instant personality. And he's gonna be really worried, so his mouth has kind of a worried shape, kind of a curved shape. Okay, now all of his belongings are about to get wet from the water that's coming in, the tides coming in. So down here, I'm gonna draw some wavy lines to make it look like the water is coming up onto the shore. And I'm just gonna give that a double line so it really looks like waves. And even a couple little bubbles here and there to show that frothy splash of the water. So I'm thinking about all the belongings that my little crab needs to be carrying. And let's start off with my favorite thing to eat at a picnic, which is watermelon. So I'm gonna draw a big upside down rainbow shape. I'm gonna come in a little bit and draw a bite out of it by making kind of a wavy line that looks like teeth marks. And then a line that comes back over. I'm gonna draw another curved line here to show the rind of my watermelon and some little black seeds. Another favorite thing of mine to eat is a pineapple. So I'm gonna draw a big oval shape for my pineapple. Now I might have some overlapping here. So I'm gonna draw that spiky green part that's kind of sticking up and it might be back behind my watermelon. I'm gonna give my pineapple some texture by adding some diagonal lines going one way and some diagonal lines going the other way. Next, I'm gonna draw a tall glass of lemonade. So I'm gonna draw two lines coming down at an angle, and I'm gonna draw an oval up at the top. That's like a squished circle. And my lemonade's gonna be inside with another squished circle on top. And I'm gonna draw a straw. So I'm gonna draw a line from the bottom of my cup coming up 
and my straw is going to be one of those flex straws so it's bent and coming back down in the bottom of my cup. I think I might even add a little lemon here and my lemon is kind of like an oval shape and it has kind of pointy ends a little bit. I might even add a couple of dots here and there to show the texture of my lemon. I'm gonna add an ice cream cone over here by making a long V shape. And then my ice cream cone has a big scoop of ice cream on top. And it's so hot, it might even be dripping a little bit. I'm going to add some texture to my cone, again by making some diagonal lines one way and some diagonal lines the other way. How about a cherry on top? That's just a circle with a curved line to the side. I'm going to add kind of a curved line here to show the bottom of the ice cream scoop. Next I'm going to add a couple of flip flops by making a long shape like this that's kind of curved and it has a V that goes that way and another V right beside it. There's one flip-flop and where you have one flip-flop you need a second flip-flop. There's another curved shape kind of like in the shape of a bean and then a V that goes that way and a V right next to it. My crab is trying to carry away some popsicles too, so I'm going to make a long U shape and come across like that. It's kind of going behind my pineapple. And there's my popsicle stick down there. And I'm going to draw two really long skinny U shapes here inside my popsicle and connect at the bottom. It's looking like my crab is holding an awful lot of things. Let's add some more. I think maybe my crab is trying to carry a beach ball over here. So I'm gonna draw a big circle. And to make my circle look like a beach ball, I'm gonna put a little dot in the middle and I'm gonna draw curved lines that go from the dot to the edge of my beach ball. And all these curved lines need to curve the same way. I think that my crab also is trying to carry away his sunglasses and he has heart-shaped sunglasses. So I'm gonna draw a heart and then a heart, a little heart inside of it to show the frame of the sunglasses. And then a heart next to that. Connect the two with a line. And then I'm gonna draw a J shape. It's kind of like an upside down J shape. And another J shape right next to that for my sunglasses. That's the part that goes over your ear. My crab is also trying to carry a kite. So I think there might be a kite over here. So I'm gonna draw a rhombus shape, it's like a diamond, and put a cross through the middle, like a T, and I'm gonna give it a long wavy tail with triangles on either side to make it look like little bows or little ribbons coming down on the ribbon of the kite. Ooh, that's looking like a lot of stuff. I think maybe there's some strawberries up here too. So I'm gonna draw a strawberry shape. It's kind of wider up at the top and skinnier at the bottom. And give it some spiky little leaves and just a little Kind of rectangular shape up at the top and again some seeds maybe another strawberry here spiky leaves rectangle on top dots for seeds maybe one more strawberry 
can fit right there. Spiky leaves, rectangle on top. And seeds. He's so worried he's going to drop something. Let's add something else. How about a sun hat? I'm going to draw a rainbow line and a curved line below it and another curved line that's going to be the little ribbon on the hat and a big wide brim so i'm going to start up a little bit here and make a wide brim that might kind of go back behind that flip flop there and it comes all the way over here like that and the ribbons might even be kind of flying in the breeze I think that the crab grabbed his umbrella in a hurry. So maybe the umbrella is upside down. So I'm gonna draw a big upside down umbrella here by making a big upside down rainbow shape, a big curved line. And then I'm gonna draw some smaller curved lines, like wavy lines. And this is gonna be the top of my umbrella here. I'm gonna put a little curved line there. And I'm gonna draw some curved lines that go from these points to the top of that umbrella. And a line that sticks out this way. And there's the post of my upside down umbrella. I think that the crab might also have a surfboard. So I'm going to draw a long curve line going that way and a long curve line going this way then a sideways V shape and a line down the middle and another one Ooh, that ended up being a little wavy that's okay there's my surfboard I think we also maybe have a camera so I'm gonna draw a rectangle over here where I have space with a circle in the middle, with another circle in the middle, and a little square off to the side. There's my camera. I think maybe our crab is trying to carry some flippers too. So I'm gonna draw a long curved shape and kind of a little curve there. And a semicircle down at the bottom. Some lines. There's one flipper. Maybe there's another flipper over here. So a U shape. Curve line. Semicircle here. And some lines. Let's see, are we missing anything? How about some sunscreen? So maybe over here. There's a bottle, kind of a rectangle shape with some curved sides. And here's the top to our sunscreen. And I think we should put S, P, F, 50 on it. There's our sunscreen. Okay, I'm gonna add just a couple more details down here. Maybe some shells or starfish maybe a sand dollar, and I'm gonna add some color to my drawing. You could add crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have on hand. Now your drawing might look a little different than mine, and that's okay. fun creating this crazy crab carrying all his beach stuff to escape the approaching high tide. I hope you had fun too. The end. <laughs>